Welcome to Weekend Wisdom number 32. This week we're going to talk about ransomware incidents again. I previously talked about ransomware back in Weekend Wisdom number 10, but as it's a constantly evolving threat model, it's worthwhile coming back for an update. Earlier this week, the Honda Motor Company has been reportedly uh, affected by a ransomware incident. Uh, the Snake ransomware that uh, is in the reports typically targets industrial control systems, so it would appear that production has been stopped globally uh, for Honda. But it's not just big corporations that get affected by uh, ransomware. The Verizon Data Breach Investigations report from last year showed that of the 32,000 incidents that they investigated, some 1,500 were ransomware related. So small businesses get targeted as well. And while email is one of the uh, popular vectors for ransomware, the criminals are now turning to scanning the internet, uh, looking for vulnerable remote access uh, solutions that businesses have put in place as a result of the COVID-19 crisis. And if they find a weakness in these, they will break in to the company's network, they look around, find some juicy data, important confidential information, they will download it to themselves, and then they'll execute the ransomware. And if they say to the company, you know, you must pay us to, to unscramble the data, and the company says, no thanks, we'll restore our backups. They will then say, well, okay, well, we're gonna breach all this data that we stole from you, so give us money still, uh, or we won't breach it. So that's what they're doing. So if you put in place, or you have in place, a remote access solution, have that independently verified and checked, to see if it is vulnerable or not. And make sure you rem rem remediate that as soon as possible. So that's it for this week. Let's be careful out there. We'll talk to you again next week.